Hello to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Gamers Thoughts discussion. And I'm going to be talking about that Nintendo Direct from yesterday, which was September 23rd. <laughs> I'm... Mm. I mean, for me personally, there were a lot of hits in that that Direct. I mean, not everybody has to like the same stuff as me. But they showed off uh, ActRaiser Renaissance. And I have been saying for years that Square Enix needs to go back and redo ActRaiser. And I am so happy they're doing it. And I'm hoping that this means that they'll be continuing it. Where it won't just be, oh, the one game, and then we're going to forget two existed, and we're not even going to try to do a three. I want them to continue the series. So please, Square Enix, if you are going back into the vault and taking out your old content and reworking it and remaking it and repurposing it, please continue, ActRaiser. And while you're at it, go ahead and redo Chrono Trigger. But I'm highly excited about that. Like, no bull. I am highly excited about that. There's also the announcement for the Castlevania GBA collection. Cool. I know that that's going to be everywhere. It's not just going to be on the Switch. I know it's going to multiple platforms. Looking forward to it. Um, (laughs) (sighs) Then the the 3D Kirby. I'm sorry. Like, I've been waiting to see a Kirby be a fully 3D playable game forever. The only one that I can really think of that existed before was Crystal Shards, but that was still being played on more of a 2D plane. Like 2.5D technically, because I think some of the stages had rap. But it's either way. It was still played more 2D than 3D. And I was looking forward to seeing a new game come out for Kirby. And I'm happy that they're doing a 3D Kirby. But Kirby's also always been like a test bed for stuff with Nintendo and HAL Laboratories. So if there's a 3D Kirby game, you best believe that something else is being worked on behind this and Kirby was the forefront for whatever they were planning to do. You best believe it is. Um, Then, shit, they they had a lot of announcements, honestly. Um, They had Cloud version of Dying Light 2 announced. I don't really care so much. Um, <clears throat> I mean, not that I don't care about Dying Light. The games are good. Just that's not the most spectacular announcement. They have some Animal Crossing stuff. Again, not really worried about that. Um, crap, there, there was so much stuff. And I'm not trying to run into the one thing I know everybody was excited about seeing and hearing um, right off the bat. But <laughs> I, know, I know that somebody's like, Andre, get to the point talk about it. You know you want to talk about it. Get to the point, Andre. Point is, Nintendo had a lot of great stuff in this Direct. And it was surprisingly very refreshing. Oh. Gonna get an N64 and Sega Genesis as part of Nintendo Online. Nintendo Switch Online. Um, But there will be an additional charge for that which they will announce at a later date, but that service is going to be starting up next month, so they're prob- they're going to be doing all this pretty soon. Um, oh yeah, and the Kirby game's release date is, is the next year, but I'm assuming it's going to be sometime early next year. Uh, so Nintendo's going to have a lot of content coming out relatively successfully. But uh, back to the N64 being on Nintendo Switch Online. Y'all better play F-Zero X for all the people complaining about it. Y'all better play Star Fox 64 for all the people complaining about it. Better play these games online with other people. Because that's going to show them that there's interest in those series. And for people that complain about it, put your money where your mouth is. Now... One thing I'm a little bit disappointed about is I was, I was like I saw the N64. I figured they were doing N64 for for, for uh, Nintendo Switch Online. I really do wish that they would have opened it up to GameCube as well. 
GameCube and Wii, they could add into this service as well. And those, once they start taking on that price point for the added services, then they should include GameCube and Wii in that and not make a separate charge for them. They should include them in that. Also, do wish that they would bring back Miiverse. <laughs> that, that was a great social media platform that y'all had. And y'all just killed it because of a few idiots. <laughs> bring it back. Make it a part of Nintendo Switch Online. They announced the uh, casting for the Super Mario movie. I mean, some of those people are kind of... I can see others. I'm, I'm like, how is this going to work out? I'm, I'm a little, little interested in figuring out how this one's going to work out. But hey, they're doing it. Um, let me think. What, what else was I thinking about? I'm, I'm so... Like, there's so much stuff that they showed. Like, it... Like... I mean, legitimately, they had so much stuff that they showed. Like, they really showed a lot. (sighs) I'm I'm just trying to... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stop before I drive myself nuts trying to (laughs) name all of it. Just, Just know there was a lot of stuff for a good majority of people that were looking for things that they said that they wanted from Nintendo. Now, we do know some people are going to move the goalposts because that's how they make their money. But, they had a great showing. And, that Bayonetta 3 trailer that they showed off. Like, I kind of, I was like, I was looking at it, I was like, is this Bayonetta 3? Because the art style and the text style on the screen was familiar. Well, I was like, I wasn't sure <laughs> until we saw Cereza drop down with <sighs> with Twin Tails hairstyle. From <laughs> I looked at that, I was like, I saw her, I was like, oh, she caught Twin Tails hairstyle. Like she legitimately copped it. And that just makes me think of all the. It uh, <laughs> made me think of all the memes. When people thought Twin Tail was going to be the other character announced for Smash. I mean, that's still a possibility. But when everybody thought Twin Tail was going to be the other character named, named for Smash before it was Min Min. And like I saw all the memes with her and Cereza hanging out and drinking tea and stuff. I was like, y'all just... And, and they brought it full circle. So... Here's a question, though, for people. When Kamiya says that development of the game is going well, when are y'all going to learn to listen to the man? Like, the one thing, the one thing I, I will say I've never seen Kamiya intentionally be is dishonest. Like, if he's telling you development is going smoothly, things are going well, Things are going well. Now, just look at the flip side when it came down to Scalebound, which was canceled. He wasn't talking about it going well. He was talking about them working hard and trying to get everything ready. But he never said it was going well. He never indicated it was going smoothly. That, that's where you got to look at the differences in attitude. They're working on bad. They're, Bayonetta is his baby. More so than Devil May Cry is, because that's owned by Capcom. But Bayonetta is his baby. He is going to take as much time to be diligent with it as he possibly can. And his team is going to be very diligent with it. So when the man says development is going well, things are going smooth. Get off your high horse and just listen for a moment. Again, he's a very frontwardly honest person. Sometimes to the point of (laughs) of being cruel to people. So if he's saying, yes, 
things are going smooth. We can't make any announcements until Nintendo is ready to make an announcement because they're the ones paying for it. Listen to them. That's it. And I think that the, uh, that meme, <clears throat> that meme Twitter account for days without an announcement for Bayonetta 3 is now going to be uh, renamed. <laughs> I don't think they're going to delete the account. They'll probably rename it, though. Uh, probably name it to something like Bad Another Three Love or whatever. But still, it was just a little side point. And I forgot to talk about Splatoon Three. That game is looking more and more amazing, more and more amazing. And I am all for it. Like in the man that po- that became the two, he posed himself and became the two for Splatoon Two. Did the same thing for Three. He did the exact same thing for Three. So I expect all you artists out there that love Splatoon, I expect y'all to be making memes and everything. Like, actually, there's probably like 50,000 of them on the internet right now (laughs) as I'm talking about this because I'm making this recording in the morning afterwards. But damn. Oh, that was the other thing I was thinking about. Knights of the Old Republic. Got a nails for the Switch. I made that video almost two years ago. Almost two years ago. And like six years ago, if you count the one I did for the Wii U. They just now got the idea to put this on the goddamn Switch. (sighs) Better late than never. Hopefully a new audience will get into it and get to enjoy it. And play it. Potentially. Seeing it being a... uh, a good place for it. Now, if only they bring over Dragon Age. But that's a whole other discussion. Um, but in the overall, I very much enjoyed the whole presentation. Again, there were some announcements that weren't the biggest thing for me. Not that big of a deal. But from what I saw, almost everything that they announced and brought to present for the coming months and early 2022 it's all looking good I mean that, that's all I can say and, um, they need a new engine for the Dynasty Warriors games because the DLC announced for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity seeing that game run so poorly when it doesn't have to because they just won't rebuild the engine to take advantage of modern technology. That's a problem. But um, that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out, everybody.